Since 1970, IFR traffic has increased by 300%, resulting in delays and airspace restrictions. The purpose of RVSM was to increase airspace capacity and optimize flight profiles. A route documentation with the specific requirements for the airspace intended to be used has to be developed. In addition, procedures and operational sequences have to be established to assure that dispatchers and flight crew receive all the necessary documents and briefing notes. The minimum required equipment for RVSM approval is an automatic altitude control system, one autopilot with ALT pre-select and ALT hold function, a secondary surveillance radar SSR transponder with altitude reporting system that can be connected to the altitude measurement system in use for altitude keeping, two independent altitude measurement systems, two air data computers, two altitude indicators and one altitude alerting system. When panning with the departure airport outside and the destination airports within lateral limits of RVSM airspace, the aircraft has to descend below flight level 290 using the transition airspace before reaching RVSM airspace. One automatic altitude control system must be engaged during flight within RVSM airspace. This ensures that the aircraft will stay within plus or minus 65 feet as per requirement. Before entering RVSM airspace, the crew must assure that the required equipment on board is fully functional. This includes any digital indications or damage which could influence the system performance. The primary altimeters have to be checked and must be within a tolerance of plus or minus 200 feet. The air data computer control has to be switched to the remaining working source. If the selection is not successful, ATC has to be informed and the aircraft is required to leave RVSM airspace. If one primary altimeter remains operational, ATC will relate to other controllers or facilities who will subsequently handle the aircraft. Any special handling requirements will be provided. In case of transponder failure, the flight crew can request to continue at the cleared flight level. ATC will either allow the flight to continue or issue a revised clearance. The crew can expect a new clearance before leaving the metric RVSM system. This shows the position where the crew can anticipate the change of flight levels with